um, Ariana Grande and Nicki Minaj because we're at an hour and 30 minutes and we must get this out because, see, they, they pissed me off. So, Kanye West was tweeting the other day. We went over all of that, but I'm going to go over this shit so that you can be caught up. Kanye West said, all of this foolishness weighed on my mental health. So, Ariana Grande, you know I got love for you, but until you're ready to really make sure everything's okay, don't use me at this moment to promote a song, okay? Ariana Grande said, with all due respect, I don't need to use anyone to promote anything, period. I was making a comment about what men were doing at the time versus women. It was a joke, which um, I understand now was probably insensitive. I apologize if uh, I was in any way triggering, and I hope that you feel well today. Somebody wrote her and said, what the fuck are you apologizing for? And she said, for potentially triggering him. Regardless of how I feel about a situation, I also care about their mental health. Ariana Grande, you said what the fuck you said, and you knew how you meant it. Kanye West wants to use you for clickbait. That's why he went ahead and said that. He full of shit. I'm not going to play Kate to nobody. And that's what I mean about that mental health shit. And let's keep going. Because Nicki Minaj got her bitch ass up and had something to say. Yo, I said with your bitch ass because you pissed me off. Nicki Minaj said, we can be so insensitive. God bless Kanye and Pete. Being flippant about mental illness speaks more about you than them. Stop saying the word love and live it. Love is an action. Well, I would like to ask you about the actions of your new man. I, since you got so much love to spread, and, 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 and since you want to know about mental health, and since you want people to do this and do that, I, I would like to have a conversation. And then I'm going to have a conversation with Pete, because I, I don't know who, who's, who, who the fuck Nikki talking to. So, so Nikki, Nikki want to have a conversation. Let me go back to the tweet, so I make sure I got it right, baby. What's up, Asia? She, she said it can be so insensitive, and being flippant about mental illness speaks more about you than them. Stop saying the word love and live it. Love is an action. I love my people, and I got love to give, but everybody can't go, and I ain't for that bullshit. And Nikki, you think you slick. You coming up out your ass with this bullshit because you trying to take some heat up off of that nigga. You it. But let me let me get up in your business right quick. This is actual. This is factual. You know, I ain't passed no judgments on that nigga. I heard about some shit that he had did. I said, I got to look into it and we going to see. whoop de whoop Let's get into it. Oh, no. Let's get into it. Hey, let's get into it. Nicki Minaj's new boyfriend served four years in prison for sexual assault. And here are, here are the details of the crime. And this is reported by um The Blast, okay? So these are court records obtained from Kenny Petty's 1994 rape case, okay? The 16-year-old victim explained to cops a terrifying situation in which she was allegedly abducted and violently raped by Petty, okay? And Nicki Minaj has come out, she's come out and she's defended him and said that they were in a relationship and that he was 15 and she was 16 and blah, 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 blah. So she's defended him. Nicki Minaj got all this money. The blast didn't obtain the court documents. I know that bitch could have. Nicki Minaj talking about she want to have a baby and, and uh, get married and all that bullshit and ain't a court in the United States of America that's going to let him be around the motherfucker. But you know what, Nicki, Nicki, who touched you? Can I, may I ask you who touched you? I do have a degree in psychology. So you, you hang around too many, too many people that like to touch people. No, man. Let, let, let's get into Oh, I'm all right, let's, let's get into the data. play it down and was convicted of attempted rape in the first degree and served four years in prison. Petty is still a registered sex offender and must regularly check in for uh, updated location information and uh, photos as a warning to the public. So Nicki Minaj left a comment when somebody uh, said something about these allegations and said, and I quote, he was 15 and she was 16 in a relationship, but go off. Y'all can't run my life. Y'all can't even run your own life. That's what she said. Um, after that, he served seven years over the shooting death of a separate man. Okay. Black Queen said, if this is true, this is sickening. Baby, he served the time. It's a fact. It's a fact. Ain't nobody. She called the police the same day and knew that he was dead as wrong. So that means that they did a rape kit. It ain't It ain't nobody in, 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 the, in the country that's going to sit up and charge you with rape. If they, listen, 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 listen. When, when you a nigga, when you a nigga, you don't have to have proof. But nine times out of ten, they come and produce something. When we have conversations about rape, and people being convicted of rape and shit like that, they do kits. When 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 we get into that kind of territory about shit like that, you either did it or you did not. And they're going to check and they're going to see. So when she called the hospital, the same, I mean, when she called the police the same day and he was actually arrested and convicted and served time and he's a registered sex offender, that's what the fuck he did. That's what the fuck he did. Those are court documents I just read from. So Nicki Minaj, at what point in time are you going to go and seek some help? There is no reason why you would want to have a child with somebody who snatched a child off the street and, and kidnapped that bitch and raped her. It, it's no reason why. I know you claim you don't support your brother, but bitch, you be wrong. It, that, that's ridiculous. You you all up in the record with Takai. Every time you look up, the bitches with a goddamn pedophile. What is wrong with you? She with a pedophile or a goddamn raper, a rapey nigga. I don't, I don't understand. A rapist. What, what are you doing? 
what are you doing? So when you want to have conversations about people being flippant and, and mental health and shit like that, you need to go ahead and acknowledge the fact that you're mentally ill. Something clearly is wrong with you if you want to get married and have babies with a nigga that shot somebody and has to go to prison, that's then raped somebody. If you think they ran up in his ass, you, you seem to have an issue with Safari and his sexuality and what it may or may not be. But let me go ahead and say this to you. Um, it, I mean, if you think that he served... Se- 12 years in total and he wasn't sucking dick getting his dick sucked or running up in some ass he was a damn fool so so we got a man who who quite possibly might go both ways we, we got a man who rapes motherfuckers we got a man who will shoot you dead can you help me understand what in the fuck he's doing for you and this man at this point in time is supposed to be some type of big level exec okay making money but can you help me understand why he's appealing at all Nick Mars, get some fucking help and until you do I don't want to hear a bitch ass thing about your opinion on a bitch ass thing and, and you can kiss my ass Pete Come here, baby. I want to have a conversation with Pete Davidson. Pete Davidson got on Instagram and Twitter and his notepad and everywhere else. And he said, I really don't want to be on this earth anymore. I'm doing my best to stay here for you, but I actually don't know how much longer I can last. All I've ever done was try to help people. Just remember.